Dear students, last class we have studied uh, how to find the coordinate of a point and today we discuss some problem. Okay, now uh, see the picture. We have to find the coordinate of the coordinates of the rectangle. Okay, so see the picture. We have understood what is meant by x-axis last class. So, Today we name the x axis as x o x dash and y axis as y o y dash, right? Just for name, okay? Now you see we have to find the coordinate of this o, coordinates of this rectangle o, a, b, c, coordinates of rectangle O A B C okay now come to the point so what is the coordinate of O you see it is in the middle of x axis and it is 0 right x axis is 0 what about y axis y axis is also 0 so we represent it as origin O 0 0 therefore the coordinate of O is 0 0 okay this O 0 0 is called the origin there it will be x axis will be 0 and y axis will be 0 right now x O x dash y O y dash now find the coordinate of A what is the coordinate of A? Yes, it is on the x-axis. The point A is on the x-axis. See? And its x-coordinate is 4. So, we cannot draw a perpendicular to y-axis and, and so its y-coordinate is 0. So, what is the coordinate of A? It is 4, 0. Now, we should understand that every point on the x-axis, every point on the x-axis, if we consider its y-coordinate is 0, okay? Whatever point we take on the x-axis, its y-coordinate is 0. And origin is its x-axis, x-coordinate and y-coordinate is also 0, right? So, what is the coordinate of A? Yes, it is 4, 0. Right? Now, you find the coordinate of B. What we should do? Yes, we should draw a line perpendicular to x-axis. What is its x-axis? Yes, it means at 4. Therefore, its x-coordinate of B is 4. And how to find the coordinate of y-coordinate of B? Yes, draw perpendicular line to y-axis. Last class we have studied. Draw perpendicular line to y-axis. So, where it means it is at 2. So, what is the coordinate of B? Yes, it is 4, 2. Right? Now, how can we find the coordinate of C? Yes, it is on the y-axis. The point C on the y-axis. So we have studied that every point on the y-axis, every point if we consider on the y-axis, its x-coordinate is 0. Therefore, this y-axis, the point C is 0, 2. Okay, its x-coordinate is 0, therefore it is 0, 2. Clear? So O is 0, 0 origin and A is 4, 0 and B is 4, 2 and C is 0, 2. Right? Okay. Let us do another problem. 
see the picture so this is a rectangle in this rectangle sides are parallel to axis and the origin is the midpoint sides are parallel to axis and origin is the midpoint also the coordinate of c is given coordinate of c is given what is the coordinate of c it is 3 2 question is find the coordinates of the vertices of this rectangle okay yes let us start now see the rectangle a b c d okay c is given as 3 2 its x axis x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 2 therefore c is 3 2 that is given and the axis are not marked see here axis are not marked that is the peculiarity of this problem without ma marking the axis we should find the coordinates of a b c and d now you see but condition is given axis the coordinates sides are parallel to axis right now c is 3 2 now draw see the line b what is the x coordinate of b yes it is 3 okay now what is the y coordinate of b yes draw this line like this therefore and this distance and this distance is same because origin is the midpoint therefore what will be the y coordinate it is minus 2 right therefore the coordinates of b is 3 minus 2 right now let us find the coordinate of a right what we will do yes axis sides parallel to axis okay sides parallel to axis so what will be its x axis yes it is parallel is it so and the origin is the midpoint given therefore it is yes x axis is 3 minus 3 not 3 minus 3 x axis is minus 3 x coordinate is minus 3 and what is its y coordinate yes automatically it will be minus 2 therefore uh, a is a is minus 3 minus 2 right now we got c b and a we should find the coordinate of d yes what will be the coordinate of d yes similar so it is parallel y axis therefore its x coordinate is 3 sorry its x coordinate is minus 3 right and what will be its y coordinate its y coordinate is 2 therefore d is minus 3 2 right there are similar questions in the textbook okay go through the problems and do it clearly and ask doubt if they are easy okay let us uh, start with a new topic next time right till then goodbye